Oh, yeah. Oh, I saw that movie, uh, that last one. Yeah. This is pretty good. Hey! <laughs> oh, man. Tell me you're going to start it, Guardo. What's up, bro? Anyway, this is the prediction fight. Prediction fight? Prediction video for the uh, Patrick Majewski and Donicio Miranda fight. It's for the uh, NABF middleweight title. It is on November 5th, and I'll break down both fighters, and I'll give you my prediction. Now, some of you might be like, Steve, man, why are you giving this? This is NABF, man. This ain't nothing. Um, sometimes if I see a possible upset or uh, something like that, and it is a title fight, I might want to jump in there and, you know, give my little thing. And uh, Patrick Majewski, who's 17-0-0 with 11 knockouts, 51 or 65% knockout ratio, um, Extensive amateur career, two times Philadelphia Golden Gloves boxer. So you, you kind of know his amateur background and stuff, but he's 31 years old, and he's only got 17 more fights, which is 17 more than I have. But still, you know, you'll have that. Uh, you know, he really needs to start stepping up his competition, and I believe he is doing that in this fight. And because his window is closing, he's already 31, 17 fights, none have really been for big titles or anything like that. And at 31, you would hope that you would be there, you know, at least with 24, maybe 25 fights in. You know, he, as I say, he's got the good amateur background, but not a lot of experience as a pro. Nine of his 17 opponents, they all had losing records, or nine of his fighters actually had winning records of the 17. And uh, you're, you're kind of excited to see that a little bit, because at least he's fought the majority of his fights have been against uh, winning fighters. And four of his last five fights have been by knockout. Uh, unfortunately, no one of real merit is on there. I mean, you have Gomez, who was KO'd by Angulo, and Upshaw was okay, and he went the distance with him. So the, the probably the best fighter he's went in the ring with went the distance, and he, you know, he's, he's active, throws a lot of one-twos, throws a lot of combos, has the high guard, that you like to see. He pumps that jab out very well. He works the body. does get wide with his hooks, though. Um, he's more amateurish with his punches, and I would like to see him sit down on his punches more, but he is definitely cumulative. And his nickname, The Machine, is every bit of it. He constantly comes forward. He constantly throws punches. Really high work rate, like a not as powerful Glenn Johnson kind of thing, you know, with it coming through. Uh, he has good footwork. He has... Uh, good head movement as well, you know, but he does drop his hands when he backs up, and he tends to drop his left when he throws his right, so he is open there when that, that happens, he does go high-low a lot, and uh, he is an aggressive with uh, cumulative power, has a good chin, stamina's got to be kind of questioned, because he's only went 10 once, but, man, you know, he's, he's, uh, seems like he has stamina for days, and he's sneaky, so his power, it's like pip, 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 pow, you know, and um, he kind of lulls you into that false sense of security, oh, okay, it's going to be soft, it's going to be soft, whatever, you let your guard, and then he unloads on you. So it's sneaky, and he catches you off guard in, in, in that manner, but it really doesn't have the, uh, like that overpower thing, you're just like, wow, it's lots of power, you know, so... Going over to uh, Donicio Miranda, who's 21-7-2 with 18 knockouts. He's, uh, I mean, he's went 10 with Roman Kamarjan. That was a great fight. Had Kamarjan down, had him hurt, but uh, couldn't close the deal, couldn't close the fight. You know, it seems he's been chinny, a bit chinny because he's been knocked out six of his seven losses in them fights. He beat Luan Simon, who went the distance with Abraham and Sylvester. Also, uh, Simon, you know, beat... Uh, Sebastian Demers, or actually he beat Sebastian Demers, so that was that was good. I mean, he's obviously had far better competition, um, of course, which leads to having him having more losses. Uh, he has a very good power and speed, and that right hand is deadly. In there, the jab is more of a pushing jab, more to decide on uh, distance and everything like that. Uh, throws the hooks. He starts with a high guard, you know. And he likes to bang, but he can't get flustered when he starts throwing punches on him. He pushes, as I said, he pushes the jab. He's not really active, and he really loads up on that right hand. Now, he throws the right hand to the head, to the body, hits the body very well. 
but most of his punches are ones and one twos. It's like he's always trying to knock you out in there. Um, every punch, not a jab, is power. So looking at that, when you see it, you're, you're going to enjoy that. Now, true power, he has. He does have that. But it's kind of like the, uh, the saying, oh, yeah, you know, he's great coming out of the gate. But he's only had one knockout out of those 18 that was in the sixth round. None past that. So he does not carry his power late. He, does, he doesn't really carry it past the first three rounds because he's only had three of his 15 knockouts, or 18 knockouts. Only three of them have come from the fifth round and the sixth round. All the rest were like in the third round or earlier. So he's a very fast starter when it comes to that power. So when you're not really warmed up, he can go ahead and tee off on you and really uh, get his shots out. And before I really looked into his record, I was thinking that he, w he had a very, very good chance at knocking out Majewski later in the fight, but when you notice that, that's something that really jumps out at you. Yeah, he knocked Kamarzin down. That's great, but he did not finish him. He could not finish him. He tried, couldn't do it. So that kind of lets you know there, while he might have the power to knock you down, it's it's uh, it's not there to to just take the take the starch out of you completely. And that's kind of how I see this going is is because, you know, with Upshaw going the distance, I see Majewski taking this the distance and winning on decision. I think uh, Miranda's power, you know, that'll that'll stop. I don't see Miranda getting knocked out by him, but he's been knocked out by other guys, you know. But I don't, and I don't rate him, Majewski, as high as I do Karmajan, though. So we'll see about that. We'll see how that goes. And, I, I mean, Miranda was also knocked out in the first round in his last fight. So, it's it's that chinny factor, but he's went the distance with good fighters. So, it's all that, you know. But I, I see this going the distance, and I see Majewski taking it. Okay? So, hey, please comment, rate, subscribe, friend, you know. It's all one big thing. <laughs> you guys have a great day, all right? Well, hey, this is Big Ragu. I'm out.